RITS update for Delhi section, the Delhi section of Rapid Rail Corridor is likely to be ready by end of 2024. In a significant leap towards enhancing connectivity and revolutionizing the way people travel in the National Capital Region, NCR, as per news reports of January 17, 2024, the Regional Rapid Transit System, RRTS, project is making remarkable progress. According to officials from the National Capital Region Transport Corporation, NCRTC, the Delhi leg of the RRTS corridor, connecting the capital to Merit, is anticipated to be ready by the end of 2024 or the beginning of 2025. This development marks a pivotal milestone in India's ambitious transportation initiatives, aiming to reshape the urban landscape and foster socio-economic growth. For those who are interested in knowing more about the RRTS project, please find six videos in this channel pertaining to it. The links for the videos can be found in the playlist towards the end of this video. Hi friend! Welcome back to SciTech Buzz One channel. We wish to sincerely thank all the new subscribers of this channel. We have observed that 97% of our viewers haven't subscribed to our channel. If you haven't as yet subscribed, kindly consider doing so, after watching this video, since it would encourage us to do more. Watch this interesting video until the end so that you will not miss out on all the details. Historical Context To appreciate the current strides in the RRTS project, it's essential to understand its historical context. The RRTS, envisioned as a high-speed rail network, is set to cover a total of 82 kilometers. 70 kilometers of this extensive project are elevated, spanning across three cities, while the remaining stretch is underground in Delhi and Merit. The inception of the RRTS project aimed to address the burgeoning need for efficient and rapid transit solutions in the NCR, one of the most densely populated regions in the country. Current Progress in the Delhi Leg As of now, the focus is on the 14-kilometer stretch within Delhi, which will seamlessly connect to the operational Ghaziabad section of the RRTS corridor. An anonymous official involved in the project highlighted the accelerated pace of laying tracks in the Delhi section. Notably, this includes a 5.5-kilometer underground section, which has already been completed. The Delhi leg encompasses three stations, Sarai Kale Khan, New Ashok Nagar, and Anand Vihar, along with a stabling yard in Jangpura, which may potentially be converted into a station, showcasing the flexibility and adaptability of the project. Ghaziabad Section and Trial Runs The Ghaziabad section, spanning 17 kilometers, became operational on October 21, 2023. The remaining 21 stations, including five in Ghaziabad, are integral parts of the corridor. Officials familiar with the matter project at the corridor between Ghaziabad and Merit is likely to be operational by March 2024. Trial runs from Duhai in Ghaziabad to Merit, south, are currently underway, with trains reaching speeds of 40 to 50 km per hour. It is expected that the trains will attain their design speed of 180 km per hour in the coming month. Once done, the NCRTC will invite the Commissioner of Metro Rail Safety for final clearances before the start of 25 km section. Local Metro Module and Station Construction In Merit, the RRTS has four stations at Merit, South, Shatabdi Nagar, Begum Pool and Matipuram in Merit and also nine stations for local metro module for use of commuters. One noteworthy aspect of the RRTS project is the construction of nine local metro stations, strategically positioned to provide commuters with easy access to nearby areas. This decision is particularly vital as the RRTS stations are constructed at a distance of about 5 km from each other, making it impractical for the high-speed trains to stop in between. The local Merit Metro module trains are envisioned to cater to the local passengers, ensuring seamless connectivity and enhancing the overall efficiency of the transportation network. Final Clearances and Operational Timeline Once all the necessary components are in place, the NCRTC will invite the Commissioner of Metro Rail Safety for final clearances before the commencement of the 25km section. The optimistic projection is that the entire 82-kilometer RRTS project will be operational by June 2025, 
heralding a new era of rapid and efficient transit in the NCR. Socioeconomic Impact The development of the RRTS project is poised to have far-reaching socioeconomic impacts on the NCR region. Enhanced connectivity and reduced travel times will not only benefit commuters but also stimulate economic activities. With faster and more reliable transportation, businesses can operate more efficiently, leading to increased productivity. Additionally, the improved connectivity is likely to attract investments and spur the development of new commercial and residential hubs along the RRTS corridor. Trade and Business Opportunities The RRTS project is set to create a conducive environment for trade and business growth in the NCR region. The seamless movement of goods and people will open up new markets and opportunities for businesses to expand their reach. Efficient transportation links will also contribute to the development of logistics and supply chain networks, making the region more attractive for industries and businesses. Economic Growth and Development As the RRTS project unfolds, it becomes a catalyst for economic growth in the NCR. The convenience and speed offered by the high-speed rail network will make the region more accessible, encouraging businesses to establish their presence and invest in infrastructure. This, in turn, will lead to job creation and improved living standards for the residents of the NCR, contributing significantly to India's overall economic growth story. Conclusion In conclusion, the progress of the Delhi leg of the RRTS project signifies a transformative phase in the region's transportation landscape. The integration of advanced technology, strategic planning, and efficient execution are paving the way for a modern, high-speed transit system that will redefine the way people travel in the NCR. Beyond the tangible benefits of reduced travel times and enhanced connectivity, the socio-economic, trade, and business impacts are poised to elevate the NCR's status as a dynamic and thriving economic hub. As the RRTS project hurdles towards completion, it stands as a testament to India's commitment to embracing cutting-edge infrastructure for sustainable growth and development. Stay tuned for further developments on this project. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. My friend, if you have found any value in this video, then kindly click on like button as an encouragement to create better quality content. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends, and in your social media network so that this information might benefit others. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz One channel so that you will not miss out on any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you.